afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Pools of Valor presentation ceremony for Sergeant Major Keith Redway and Sergeant Brandon Neely. At this time, would you please rise for the posting of the colors, the national anthem, and the Pledge of Allegiance.
We've got volunteers all across the country. There's 600 different groups from Oregon, Maine, all the way down to Florida, who gather together and they sit and sew and make quilts. And why do we do it? Because we want to honor all our combat service members and veterans who have been touched by war with a quilt of valor. Since January of this year, 1,387 quilts have been awarded. Now that's just one month. Since it started way back in 2003, 267,228 quilts have been awarded. And these quilts are designed to bring a three-part message. First, we want to honor you for your service to the United States. Because of brave men and women like you, we in the United States are able to sleep through the night, knowing we were protected from the effects of war. Second, we know that freedom is not free. And our quilts are meant to say, thank you for your sacrifice. We're honored today to present two quilts. First of all, one to Gordon Keith Redway, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about him. Keith proudly served in the U.S. Army from 1985 to 2012. His military career included multiple deployments, which included, but weren't limited to, Kosovo, Bosnia, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Places he has been assigned to included Fort Benning, Georgia, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, Vicenza, Italy, Fort Still, Oklahoma, and Fort Drum, New York. The three major commands he has served in combat were the 82nd Airborne Division, the 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team, and the 10th Mountain Division. Throughout Keith's time in the Army, he served as an artilleryman, infantryman, and a paratrooper, achieving such titles as Master Gunner, Jump Master, Master Parachute, Parachutist, and Special Weapons Team Leader. Sergeant Major Redvey is married to his beautiful wife, Diana Lynn Redvey, and they have four grown children. Now, Brandon Scott Neely is from Oregon, all the way here. <laughs> he served in the Army, activated from the National Guard from 2004 to 2008, and he participated in Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom, served in Fort Lewis, Washington, Fort Drum, New York. He was a motor transport operator, received the Army Achievement Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, the Afghanistan Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Overseas Service Ribbon, an NAYO Medal, Combat Action Badge, Air Assault Badge, who is Driver and Mechanic Badge and Driver Wheel Vehicle. He's married to Lorinda, and they have four children. These quilts are meant to offer comfort to you. Know that each quilt is stitched with love and prayers for you. As I said, 10,000 volunteers, 600 groups, Every quilt tells a story. This one began in Florida, in the United States of America, by quilters in the Tampa Bay area. We share your love of country. We'd like to present those quilts to you now. If you could come forward.
going to put this on your shoulders. Oh. 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 that no matter what happened, I was going to be back in, back in action. Being that I am here, and, and all of you are here joining me, I am doubly honored and humbled to be able to stand here in front of you. It was my honor to serve in the Army for 26 years. If they'd let me come back right now, I'd be there. The Sergeant Major's ready. In fact, I'd take Brandon with me, because he served with me in Afghanistan for a tour, and Sure, he's got a few stories about how nice and gentle and nice he's <laughs> going on. But again, thank you so much for being here with me today. I don't know what the nomination process is for Quilt of Valor, and I'm not sure I even deserve it. But it is a, a huge honor, and I'm extremely humbled. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> challenge to follow somebody like that but I'll do my best so bear with me um, it is an absolute honor and a privilege to be able to stand in front of you and accept an award like this I'm so grateful for the time and the opportunity and the and the, the, the sacrifice it takes to make the quilt put the time into it get people to do it I mean it's not a it's not a quick thing so I am very thankful for all of it I will keep it with pride for the rest of my days and when I'm no longer here I will pass it down to my children but I think the most important part about being a veteran or a combat veteran or even a person that serves the country is having something worth fighting for. And I think that all the people in this room are a big, uh, a big testament to something worth going to war for. So I thank every one of you for being here today. It's a privilege to call myself a veteran, and I will forever be grateful for this privilege. Thank you all so much. has a label and a note that tells, but you, can, you two can stay up here for just a second. Okay. Each quilt has a label and a note that stays, tells something of the quilt's beginnings. And as of today, the story of the quilt becomes your story. And we hope you will keep it as a tangible reminder that no matter where you served, you were in our minds and in our hearts and prayers and your sacrifices will never be forgotten. And we have two certificates. And this, uh, they say, the Quotes of Valor Foundation wishes to recognize you for your service to our nation. We consider it a privilege to honor you, that we never know the extent of your sacrifice and service to protect and defend the United States of America. As an expression of gratitude, we award you with the Quotes of Valor. And this is for Brandon.
for this. Mary, thank you very much for helping me with the guidance in this. I can't thank you enough. Thank you all for joining us here today. This is really a great turnout. Just join us in some refreshments, sandwiches, and thank you all very much. That's all I got to say. Thank you all.